<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel again. I know, I hope you all watched the first one, part one, shelters, tents. We don't have a lot, large selection of tents, we just have what we have out here and I hope I gave you some information to get you outside. But now we're going to talk about my favorite thing, hammocks. I love hammocks. So we're going to go and we're going to explain to you our hammock systems that go from Amazon all the way up to your cottage companies. And I want to share that with you because I never thought that I'd be the hammock sleeper. I've tried cowboy sleeping. I've slept in tents. I slept in trailers. I never thought that I would be a hammock sleeper. But let me tell you, come join me and we're going to explain to you our hammocks and why I love them. Okay, so this is my hammock. As you saw, it was really easy to put up. Mike put that up himself, and it was made by Autumn Ultralight. You can go to autumnultralight.com. She does really great custom hammocks. So this is like my bedroom, so I'm gonna make it a special bedroom. I like that it has the hooks for my underquill on both sides, has pullouts 
for me to tie it out so I can pull it all out when I'm laying in there. It's got the nice double stitching, beautiful stitch work. It's got the zipper on both sides so I can enter or exit on either side of my hammock. She did it in the colors that I wanted, the purple and teal, and even gave me a teal ridge line. So this is my tarp. You probably saw it posted somewhere else. This is my tarp from Trailheads Hammocks. Um, Trailheads makes hammocks, tarps, sleeping bags. This is a custom made. I picked the design. The design is um, pink starry nights. So you can see the pink and the purple. So it goes and looks like that you're in the forest at night. And I picked that to match my hammock. So I'm instead of telling you a lot about my hammock, I'm going to throw it over to John and let John from Trailheads Hammocks tell you more about tarps. Okay, I'm here at Trailheads Hammock. I will make sure I put a link in the description box. This is John and Karen, owners. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay, these are the ones that created that awesome tarp I told you I was waiting for. So I'm going to have them talk a little bit about my tarp. So Kelly's tarp is a 1.1 sil poly. Uh, the 1.1 is the weight per square yard. Um, it, is, it has an outdoor ink print titled Night Trees from... Uh, rips up by the roll. It is a 12 foot by 10 foot winter tarp, which means the ends of it can close up just like doors. Uh, it has 10 tie outs on the ground plus the two ridge line tie outs and comes in at 19.3 ounces. And with it, she's got a gear sling and her stake and tie out roll up that we include the roll up with every tarp just like the uh, double ended stuff sack. That way, when you get a new tarp, you've got somewhere to put your stakes at, and you're not having to go back and forth between your different tarps every time you have a different setup or a different use. You've got one. So we just go ahead and include those with the purchase. And I want to do a shout out to these guys too. Um, with the COVID-19, I ordered right before the COVID-19 outbreak, and they stopped production to make masks for all the local, was it nursing homes, hospitals, and everybody that needed That's it. kudos to So you. I want to make sure you guys all know that they are also supporting the community. And sorry for my camera shaking. It's because I'm kind of wobbly. I don't know why my camera's shaking. But go ahead, tell a little bit about your business. Uh, we make backpacking hammocks, tarps, uh, quilts, all kinds of little accessories. We are based here in Bellbrook, Ohio. Uh, we've been doing this for, we're entering our second full year, well, halfway through now, but our second full year of business, and it's grown exponentially. We host an event twice a year, uh, usually winter and fall. We have people out so that you know, they can get to know us, we can get to know them, and we can all share some time in the trees. We feel that as a cottage vendor, that's important, and we have roughly 100 acres here, so we've got plenty of room for everybody. And I'm going, I've already made plans that September, what was the dates again? 27th? 27th through the 29th, I believe. Is what I've down. Might be 25th through 27th. But I'll make sure that I'm out here and I bring more of Karen and John and Trailheads Hammocks right back at ya. Thank you guys. Okay, Trailheads Hammocks made me a cute little, I, I want to call it a backpack hammock. So it can sit either under my hammock, on the side of my hammock, and it matches the same exact color. It has these cute little whoopee strings so I can pull them up and down as the height that I need it. They're real ease. But it will get, make it really nice so I can put my backpack next to me or underneath me to keep it out of the weather and maybe away from critters or it might even invite critters to come visit me. Who knows? Thanks, John and Karen. This is mine and MX setup. It was all bought off of Amazon except for the spreader poles. Those are REI spreader poles. We use our straps from Infinity. From Infinity. I have orange and it has blue. It's a pretty simple setup. It takes a little bit longer with two as you can see but 
Ours are a little different. You can only go in and out on one side, which I face each other because mine's a child and I'd like to know when he's getting in and out of his hammock. Um, we have our ridge line you have to do yourself. It doesn't come in, but it holds up the bug nets pretty well. This is my tarp. Um, I got it from Amazon. It was $55 when I got it. I picked this tarp because it fit two hammocks underneath, as you can see through the door. If you go in, you still have space to walk in between two hammocks and it gives us a nice room. When we were up in Shawnee, I only had one hammock obviously under here because I didn't take Emmett with us, but it was raining in the morning so we were able to pull my hammock down and sit in here and make coffee and everything. And the, I did, I staked down the corner so when it gets wet it doesn't rain, but it's like my own little house. Okay, so this is Jenna's temporary setup. Jenna's going to have a hammock that's blue and yellow from autumn ultra light also we're expecting it any day now and um but this right now this is a amazon 16 dollars parachute um hammock and it came with the straps just like the infinity straps with the hoops in there she likes to lay out in the yard a lot in there and it doesn't have a bug net so from outdoor vitals i bought her a bug net it, you gotta make a ridge line for it. Pulls across, and it centers it centers over here. So that's from Outdoor Vitals. And this only the bug net only weighs less than four ounces, but that gives her a bug net, a little bit of wind protection for the underneath, and it gives her a place to stay right now until she gets her hammock set up. Okay, this is just a Amazon hammock. I mean tarp. Amazon tarp. It um, cost about $30. It was just a quick, fast tarp to get for Jenna so that she could enjoy her hammock with us. Like I said, Jenna's going to have the same kind of setup for me. She, Anne Marie, is working on her blue and yellow hammock right now from um, Autumn's Ultralight. And we're still trying to figure out what kind of tarp we want. We know she wants a tarp with doors. But this is just a simple little tarp. You can get it at Amazon. So you can set yourself up a tarp and a hammock really cheap for under $60 at Amazon. You can probably get a little bit less than that. So you can go and test a hammock and let me tell you the first time that you sleep in a hammock, you're not going to like it. I don't even know if you're going to, I'm not even going to say you're not going to like it. You have to learn to sleep in a hammock. It's not real comfortable. But after you sleep two or three nights in it, you figure it out and it's the most comfortable thing I had. So I no longer want to be a ground dweller unless it's necessary. I'm not going to hang when I sleep at night. Okay, so we said that we would um, tell you why we like hammocks. I like a hammock because, especially this last trip that I had, when I had broken my ankle and thought it was sprained, it left it elevated a little bit, and so I was able to elevate my ankle. It's very comfortable. I'm a side sleeper. I roll around, so I have a really good um, insulated air mat for my Nemo. It's one of the, the Nemo insul Tensor Insulated nice insulation but I roll off that all the time because I roll all over so in a hammock when I roll I still have my under quilt underneath me I'm able to roll around in there uh, sleep on my side I find myself on my stomach very comfortable it's easy for me to get in and out of um, instead of crawling on the ground and trying to crawl around in a tent I just unzip sit down flip myself in and I'm in same to get out very comfortable it's like sleeping on air I guess I am sleeping on air yeah so what do you like it better Ashley well, I like it better because I'm a side sleeper, and even with the mat underneath me on the tent, like Mom said, I'd roll off, number one. And number two, it keeps the pressure off my joints, and my body's able to relax. And getting dressed is a lot easier with a hammock and a tarp than it is in a tent. Yeah. So that's our reasons, and I'm, I don't know about you, but the first night I slept in one, I was like, I think I was uncomfortable and didn't get a good night's sleep because I wasn't sure can I roll around can I turn and I was all worried about turning and rolling but we did a seven-day camp out in our hammocks in the backyard and we're very used to our hammocks now they're very comfortable what was your thoughts on that when you first started the first night was a little difficult because I was trying not to move as much but the more I slept in it I wouldn't sleep in a tent now after sleeping in a hammock now I'll still sleep in a tent sometimes it's more appropriate or where we're camping or where we're hiking may not have trees I'm hoping everywhere has trees so um I will still sleep in a tent. I grew up in a tent, but I prefer my hammock 
So join us because we're going to hit some hammock hangs and we'll bring some more hammock information at you. Thank you. Okay, so that was a little bit about our hammocks. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, like I said, I still love my tent, but I love my hammock more. It's all a personal choice. And I and if you would have saw the video, well, I'm sure you did. Snoopy is my husband, and he's not used to setting up tents and hammocks, so it was really fun watching him do that. So if Snoopy can do it, anybody can do it. But I want to thank you all for watching. It means a whole lot to me. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and that little bell so next time that I post a video, you're notified and you can watch it. Thanks, guys.